and welcome to Melorama. My name's Mel. Today on the show, we interview a very special guest. She's the eldest of five children, has flown a Boeing 747, can ride a horse, and by the time she was 15, had witnessed her first exorcism. Welcome to the show, Melanie Camp. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me, Mel. So, Mel, is it true, at 15, you witnessed your first exorcism? <laughs> yeah. That was quite interesting, actually. There was this guy I knew, and he was into rap music, so he must have had the devil in him. And a few people decided that they were going to exorcise him. He was a willing participant, <laughs> mind you, and it's quite, you know, intriguing watching someone being exorcised, because they tend to foam at the mouth a little. I can show you if you want. Do you like me to really give you a demonstration? No? No? No, honestly, I'm fine. You can okay. sit down. Just fine. Yep, sit down. Yep, right. Okay. So, if this boy was exercised for being into rap music, how did you escape exorcism being such an avid Pet Shop Boys fan? Oh, well, this girl that I was quite good friends with was into Nirvana, and they made her bring out her Nirvana CDs, and they smashed them up with an axe. Um, so, as you can imagine, I was terrified when they turned to me and said, Come on, Mel, bring out your Pet Shop Boys collection. I mean, I had everything. I had everything from Please to Very. I had Very Relentless. I had discography, videography, and I had Pet Shop Boys live in Rio. So, you like, brought them out to be smashed up? No way. I ran and I kept running. But I'm still running right now. So, um, <clears throat> you spent some time in India. Yeah, I did. Um, that was pretty cool, actually. They used buffalo milk with a lot of stuff, like cooking and tea and coffee and uh, I discovered that if you put strawberry quick with buffalo milk and chocolate quick as well it tends to go kind of gluggy um, so if you are going to India I'd just leave my strawberry chocolate banana quick I'd leave it at home oh, okay interesting so your radio career began in was it Muswell Mus, Muswell Muswell Brook <laughs> yes it was which brings me to a compelling story I was 19, I was working at my first job in radio at the local radio station in Musselbrook. Musselbrook is like three hours north of Sydney. There's lots of grapes, wineries, lots of wine, lots of horses and lots of cowboys. I was actually going out with a cowboy and we were at a rodeo one night. He's getting ready for the saddle bronc and I'm making friends with this old dude called Tom. And Tom says to me, hey Mel, I want you to meet my nephew Jake. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Hi Jake, nice to meet you. Jake's about my age. Tom says, I saved Jake's life when he was a little tacker. And I'm like, oh. Wow, Tom, how did you do that? Well, Jake had a terrible cold. He wasn't even a year old and he was having trouble breathing. Anyway, he stops breathing. And his auntie and his mum are tearing around like mad chooks. They don't know what to do. Oh, and I'm the only sane person there. So I take little Jake and I pick him up and I put my mouth over his nose and I sucked the snot out of him. Ew. It's time to delve into the glove box and find out what Mel's top five car tapes are for this week. Blur the Great Escape, getting a few spins in the car CD player this week in at number five. Quirky Blur fact, you know Pet Shop Boys actually covered boys and girls for the B-side of their Pananaro 95 CD single. Kate Bosworth might very well be his love child in at number four, David Bowie changes. Ben Lee got dumped by his girlfriend and his record company and then went and made a kick-ass album. Awake is the new sleep. agreeing to sing lead vocals on her brother Eric's song about a pencil called Stick It In The Hole, Gwen Stefani has come a long way. From the Wild West and so very, very good, it's Cav, Stu and Joel, Eskimo Joe. Formed for the campus band competition Battle of the Bands, which they won of course. Oh, and my special talent, I can say all the rude words in French. Check this out. Merde. All right, so that's not so hardcore. But how about this? Fou le con, va faire foutre. Je me fous. 
Nick ta mère. Putain. I am what you want. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was so dumb.